everybody. Welcome to your video for Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. I'm here with my friend and we've been discussing some of the really cool things that we're about to read about. And those things are animals. So we're going to be thinking about animals all over the world for the next couple of books. Now to do that, we have a brand new text to read today. I also have some really exciting websites that I wanna show you at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But before we start, you are going to need two things, a piece of paper and a pencil, or you need your literacy packet and a pencil. That's right. Now, while you're getting those things out, my friend Pooh and I, we're gonna go ahead and do some shout outs for your Tuesday. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and celebrate some of our superstars with their literacy packets. We're very excited. We first got Kamaya. Say, way to go, Kamaya. Nice, Kamaya sent in this beautiful picture of her work where she was labeling the pictures that the seven blind mice thought the elephant was. And we also have Ella. Say, way to go, Ella. Nice job, Ella. This is a beautiful picture of Ella's punctuation. So keep up the good work, ladies in DePaul. And now, without further ado, we are going to move on to our literacy packet. So here we go. Your literacy packet looks like this. Bye, Pooh. It looks like this. The first question is, do you remember what animal the mice discovered in Seven Blind Mice? Hint, I just said it in the video. What was it? Think, 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 think. Shout it out in three, in two, in one. What was it? Yes, it was an elephant. They discovered an elephant. So you are gonna fill in the blank, in the blank, E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T, elephant. And if you don't have a blank because you don't have the packet, that's okay. All you need to do is write, they discovered an elephant on your piece of paper. You can pause the video now to give yourself a little more time and then we're gonna keep going. Excellent job writing down elephant. Now, a discovery, that is something that you have learned or found out about. Today, we're gonna to read a new text about a woman named Jane Goodall who made discoveries about animals. So she was learning something new about animals. That was her discovery. Have you ever discovered something? Think to yourself. What's one thing you've discovered? Maybe you discovered something new in University of Chicago. Maybe you discovered something new in DePaul. Maybe something new at home. Maybe something new outside. Shout it out in three. What's something you've discovered in two? I want to hear it in one. Go ahead. sending you energy for that discovery. I can't wait for you to, to, to discover even more things. Okay, so just like last time, your job is to open a new YouTube tab and go to this link or type in the name of the book. It's called Me, Jane. And what it looks like, hi, is this. Here's the Me, Jane book. And you would go and you would click play and you would listen to the video. And it's really important that you open a new tab because it doesn't really show up on my movie screen very well. So your job is to open a new tab and watch the book being read to you. I have to say watch the book though because I can't be in DePaul or you can't be in UC right now sitting on the carpet. So pretend that this is Miss Cherney or Miss Rossi reading you this text. And you can pause my video now and I'll meet you back here in two minutes and 35 seconds. Welcome back. That is such a good book. It's one of my favorite books and Miss Rossi's favorite books. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that you understand some of the things that are on this page. So if I go to 45 seconds, you can see all of these really cool drawings on this page. Now, because some of these words are a little bit hard to read or see, I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna tell you some of the things that I see. I see that Jane made a puzzle where she jumbled up the names of wild birds. She made some detailed drawings of different animals and their faces. Got some down here. She made a quiz where she asked questions about animals. Then she did a connect the dot puzzle. It's down here. It's kind of hard to see on this screen. Um, and then in the top left, she made another puzzle with images as clues. 
that would be over here. And then she drew images of different animals in their brain. So that would be somewhere over here. So that's what all of this is on this page. Um, and I just wanted to point that out to you because all of this might seem a little bit tricky when you first see these pages, but don't worry. It's just to show you that Jane was making some really good discoveries. And she was writing this down in her journal. So let's go back to our literacy packet and make some notices. What do you, what do you notice about the story? Think to yourself, what do you notice about the story? Pause the video and tell someone in the room what you notice about the story. Welcome back. What a good notice. Here are some things that I notice. That Jane's watching squirrels, that the illustrations sometimes look like cartoons, but then other times they look like real animals. So wondering what's going on with that. I noticed that the sketches and drawings look like someone, like a real person did them instead of like a like the typed words, like what's up here. Um, I noticed that Jane's lying in the grass with Jubilee. Her eyes are closed and she's smiling. Can you give the movie screen a big smile? Nice. I noticed that she's touching her heart while she's sitting on the tree branch with Jubilee and that she's swaying from branches in the jungle with animals underneath her. And then there's a real photograph of Jane and a chimpanzee at the end. Whew, so many notices, so many things to wonder about. I'm really excited to keep reading this book this week and next week. Now, as you were reading, you might have seen some words that you didn't know. And if that happened, that is a-okay. That's why we're gonna practice with unknown words. Those are words that we do not know. So we're gonna think about the word observed. At one minute and eight seconds in the text, you see this page, and observed the miracle. We're gonna think about what observed means by using our outside-in strategy. That outside-in strategy helps us look at the words outside the word that we don't know, and then look inside the word that we don't know to help us find the meaning. Can you say outside in? Good job. Now the text says that Jane observed the miracle of the chicken laying an egg. So there's the chicken laying an egg right there. And there's Jane observing it. And now we also see earlier that Jane was watching and listening to the animals on the trees and that she's curious about something. She wonders where the eggs come from. And then I noticed this inside the word observed. ED is at the end. I know that's a word for, that means past tense. And then I see the word observe inside the word observed. And I think I might've heard that word before, maybe in science class with Miss Marsh or Maybe with Miss Javity. Anyway, I need you on your own to figure out what observed might mean. Go ahead and write down in the blanks, observed might mean two. And if you don't have the packet in front of you, go ahead and just write observed might mean two and write what you think observed means. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Nice job with that word observed. Now here are some other words that you might not have known. Repeat after me chimpanzee. That was really quiet. Let's try that again. Repeat after me. Chimpanzee. Much better. We've got this word. Coop. Miracle. Sap. And cherished. Your job is to look at these pictures. Which picture goes with which word? If you have the packet, draw a line. For example, if I saw a chimpanzee, I would look for a picture of a chimpanzee. If you don't have the packet, no big deal. All you need to do is point to the picture and say the word that goes along with it. So I would point at this one and I would say chimpanzee. There it is, right there. Now you can pause the video here, go ahead and make these connections. But before you go, I have something really cool I wanna show you. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here, hi. And I'm gonna take you to my favorite websites right now. This website is zoo.sandiegozoo.org slash live dash camps. And you can go and you can look at actual animals at the San Diego Zoo in their habitat. 
So if you click on watch live cam, you can actually go and make observations about some of the animals in the zoo. So just like Jane Goodall, you are observing these different monkeys and chimpanzees and apes. You can also go to this page. So this is kids.nationalgeographic.com slash animals and mammals. And you can click on any of these mammals to learn more about. Just like Jane Goodall was learning more about chickens and the eggs. So I'm gonna leave you with this, but I'm really excited about all the things we're about to learn this week. And I will meet you back here for Wednesday's video. Have a great rest of your day.